Hi, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to uh, count how many observations are there for each cross section in a panel data and then uh, have a look if we want to drop some low observation cross section so that we can estimate a dynamic panel data model. So I will start with an example. I'm loading one data. In this data, there are uh, many cross sections and, and all have different side number of observations that it has so we don't know what will be the actual average out average number of years and what is a minimum and what is a maximum so first of all we will declare the data as a panel data then we will these commands will fill the missing values using a pullet command so that the data is filled okay and then we go towards uh, this uh, like is a random effect equation and I run it, it will tell me that uh, some of the values are not estimated. So I will remove them because the data is not generated here. These were actually square variables, but in this example, the data was not created. So we will start with a simple example. So it is showing that there are 121 countries and maximum year 26, minimum year 1. So first of all, we will start counting it. First of all, we will estimate the uh, intercepts. So it will have a constant value wherever the data was valid. For all the row values were there. For example, uh, for this country, Albania, these many cross sections observations were used. For Algeria, these many were used. So this is a resid. And for some, there is empty because that data is not used. So what we will do now, we will first of all, count uh, the missing residues and and then drop the zeros so that the data has does not have any missing observation based upon the data which is used for regression so this data does not have any missing value based upon these variables which are in the regression now i will count it how many observation each cross can have then we can have a table here i can see for each country name, how many years of data was available, like for Bulgaria there was 9, for Congo Republic only 7, and there are like Ethiopia only 4, Haiti only 1, So and, and there are like Lebanon only 1, so you have a wide set. So you can also make a histogram to see the patterns. If you go here, and if you notice that there are very few observations near this and very high density here. So you need to make sure that they, they are multiple counted because the values are uh, repeated. So but you can notice that even if they are multiple counted, there are very few density here. So for the case of dynamic panel, we try to make sure that observation years are more than 19. So what we'll do, I will see keep if count values are greater than or equal to 19. So it will drop the other observations and if you go if you uh, run the regression you will notice that uh, you will have to run this one again to d so you can notice now the observed countries are 65 only with 19 minimum years and so this data it is clean enough to use dynamic dynamic models like panel ardl quantile ardl or second generation models so you can learn more about uh, these models in 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 different videos thank you very much for watching before we uh, before we close i will ask one question for from the audience and that uh, in this video i have talked about the criteria that is required to estimate dynamic models how many years per country does it require so do share your answers in the comments thank you very much bye